two-dimensional collisions. In this lab, you will be taking a ball and balancing it right here on a T, and then taking a second identical ball, rolling it down the ramp so that it collides with the first, and they both continue out in that motion. All of this will be recorded by a video camera. By analyzing that video, you can calculate the velocity and therefore momentum of the moving ball before the collision and the two-dimensional momentums of the two balls after the collision. By comparing the momentums before and after, we can calculate how much momentum is conserved in this collision. You will then repeat the process with several different angles. A couple things to know about this equipment. First, it is very important that this last section of track be level so that the ball is coming in with a constant velocity so you can calculate the constant velocity before. After the collision, everything is in the air, so everything will be conserved. Once you know that this part of the track is level, you will need to line it up with your camera. You will want to make sure that the entirety of the flat section and as much of the tray as possible are captured in your video. If you do not have enough of the flat section of track, you will not have enough before collision data to get good measurements. In your tray, you will want to make sure your reference stick is visible. This is exactly 30 centimeters long, so you can place it somewhere in your tray so you can use it as your frame of reference for your video. When you are adjusting your T position, it is very easy to lock this in place by tightening the thumb screw as much as possible and then pushing on the longer T arm which can then bind those threads. So you want to make sure to always loosen up your thread, your thumb screw, before you change position, and then tighten down. If you do happen to bind those threads, instead of trying to grab onto the thumb screw and turn it to loosen them, try turning the T arm instead. Since it is longer, you'll have a lot more torque and be able to open up those threads much easier. Thank you for watching this video. Here is your fun fact of the day. The abbreviation for momentum is the letter P from the German der Impul. I was already moment of inertia. M was already mass. So the next letter was P.